Hello guys and welcome to a new mechanism tutorial and in this episode we will take a look at the QIO Whetstone adapter and um, it is the last item in this uh, short episode about the QIO um, storage system for mechanism and um, it's uh, the last item you need to know something about it and um, the QIO Whetstone adapter is made by four polonium pellets, two ultimate control circuit, one Whetstone dust, one Whetstone torch and one teleportation core and um, the whetstone adapter is uh, simply giving us a whetstone signal by and set um by and set volume of um in our storage system um let's take a look and we um place it just in, in into the, the, the world here and um we are able to configure it here and um, first of all we need to set a frequency in this case a private um and storage qio example okay that mm, because that's our storage system here and um now you are able to set uh, for example the stone um let's count uh, the store uh, the stone here and um you see that uh, there are trigger count a zero and um, if we uh, set it up to 60 um you can see that the whetstone signal is also only by um, only if we get more than 60 stone in our storage system and um, let's try this and um, i will take this stone here you can see that the color here has changed to yellow and uh, if i place uh, some whetstone dust here you can see that a whetstone signal um, is um, is um, already and um, if i um, set the count to 65, uh, for example, because we only have 62 in our storage system. Um, you can see that the uh, Whetstone adapter don't give us any Whetstone signal, but that you can um, build up complex um, buildings um, because you know what you have in your um, storage system with this uh, Whetstone ad adapter. Um, um, you can do it if you want and um, that's all to the QIO Whetstone adapter. I hope, hope I could tell you something about it. Thanks and bye.